Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video lecture, we will be discussing the concept of dilution. Dilution is a process of lowering down the concentration of the solution by adding water or solvent. So guys, whenever we carry out dilution, we simply prepare solutions of different concentrations using a stock solution. So how do we define a stock solution? A stock solution is basically a solution of known concentration that is given to us. For example, we can be given one mole per dm cube sucrose solution. We can be given one mole per dm cube glucose solution or 5% sodium chloride solution. So we can be given any stock solution of known concentration and we will use that stock solution to prepare solutions of different concentrations by dilution. So for example, if we are given one mole per dm cube sucrose solution, we can prepare 0.8 mole per dm cube sucrose solution. We can prepare 0.6 mole per dm cube sucrose solution. We can prepare 0.4 mole per dm cube sucrose solution. So guys, whenever we prepare a solution using dilution, the solution that we are preparing will have a lower concentration as compared to the stock solution. This is the rule. The concentration will always decrease because you're carrying out dilution. So whenever you carry out dilution, you prepare a new solution with a lower concentration as compared to the stock solution. There are two types of dilutions, simple dilution and serial dilution. So we will be discussing these one by one. If we talk about the simple dilution, simple dilution involves preparing a solution of desired concentration using a stock solution. So whenever you want to prepare a solution of your desired concentration using a stock solution you carry out simple dilution right so as i mentioned earlier in this video that stock solution is a solution of known concentration that is provided to you you can always prepare a solution having a lower concentration than your stock solution because you're carrying out a dilution this is what i mentioned earlier in the video that you can always prepare a solution of a lower concentration as compared to your stock solution because you're carrying out dilution and dilution reduces the concentration because you're adding more solvent or water. Let's discuss the example of simple dilution. You want to prepare 10 centimeter cube of 0.4 mole per dm cube sucrose solution using 1.0 mole per dm cube sucrose that is the stock solution. So guys you are given with the stock solution that is 1.0 mole per dm cube sucrose and you want to prepare 10 centimeter cube of 0.4 mole per dm cube sucrose solution this is your desired solution so how do you prepare your desired solution by dilution before that you need to understand some variables so always remember this point that the volume of the desired solution you want to prepare is denoted as v2 and the concentration of the desired solution that you want to prepare is denoted as c2 right the concentration of the desired solution you want to prepare is denoted as c2 and the volume of the desired solution you want to prepare is denoted as v2 the concentration of the stock solution is denoted as c1 right so how do you prepare your desired solution to prepare your desired solution you need to take some volume of your stock solution that we can denote as V1 and you need some volume of distilled water. Obviously, you're diluting your stock solution, right? You're diluting your stock solution to prepare the new solution. So you need some volume of distilled water and you need some volume of your stock solution. So the volume of the stock solution that we need to use is V1 and the volume of the distilled water that we need to use is denoted as D. And when we add these two when we take some volume of stock solution and some volume of distilled water and when we add them up we get a diluted solution a new solution of a desired concentration so always remember this point that when we add v1 and d this will be equal to v2 right so how do we dilute the solution we need to find v1 and d so that we can dilute the solution how do we find v1 there's a formula that is known as C2, sorry, C1 V1 is equals to C2 V2, right? We use this formula to find out V1. So let's find the V1 using the formula C1 V1 is equals to C2 V2. So what is C1? C1 is 1.0 in this case because 1.0 is 
the concentration of the stock solution we need to find the v1 and v1 what is v1 v1 is the volume of the stock solution that we need to use what is c2 c2 is 0.4 in this case which is the concentration of the desired solution that we want to prepare and what is uh, v2 v2 is the volume of the desired solution that we want to prepare and which in this case is 10 so guys when we find v1 v1 appears to be is calculated to be 4 centimeter cube so guys uh, v1 over here is 4 centimeter cube how do we find d as i mentioned that v2 should be equal to v1 plus d so d in this case is equal to 6 centimeter cube because v2 is 10 centimeter cube v1 is 4 centimeter cube so d should be 6 centimeter cube now we have the values of d and v1 v1 that we need to use is 4 centimeter cube and distilled water volume of distilled water that we need to use is 6 centimeter cube so guys uh, if we recall what is v1 v1 is the volume of the stock solution that we need to use and d is the volume of distilled water so guys if you uh, if now in the beaker if you add 4 centimeter cube of 1.0 mole per dm cube sucrose solution this is your stock solution you're adding 4 centimeter cube of it because this is v1 that you calculated and if you add uh, 6 centimeter cube of distilled water as calculated you will get 10 centimeter cube of your desired solution that is 0 0.4 mole per dm cube sucrose this is how you carry out dilution so guys whenever you want to carry out dilution you want to find v1 and d and how do you find v1 and d first you find v1 using c1 v1 is equals to c2 v2 right other variables will always be given for example you will be given with v2 you will be given with c2 and you will be given c1 and you will find v1 and using this formula v2 is equals to v1 plus d you can find out d let's solve a question so guys what you can do you can pause your video over here for five minutes and you can try to solve this question after you solve it you can then resume the video let's solve this question prepare 20 centimeter cube of 0 0.6 mole per dm cube glucose solution using 1.0 mole per dm cube glucose solution so guys uh, 1.0 mole per dm cube glucose solution is our stock solution right and the desired solution that we want to prepare is 20 centimeter cube of 0 0.6 mole per dm cube glucose solution this is our desired solution so if you remember the volume of the desired solution is denoted as v2 and the concentration of uh, the desired solution is denoted as c2 so v2 is 20 centimeter cube and c2 is 0 0.6 mole per dm cube the concentration of the stock solution is denoted as c1 what we need to find out we need to find out v1 right and v1 we will find v1 using using c1 v1 is equals to c2 v2 right so what is c1 in this case 1.0 what is v1 we need to find out v1 right c2 is equals to 0 0.6 mole per dm cube and v2 is equals to 20 centimeter cube so v1 in this case is equals to 0 0.6 into 20 and what is 0 0.6 of 20 it's 12 centimeter cube right so this is v1 how do we find out d now for dilution we need to find the volume of distilled water and how do we find d d is equals to v2 minus v1 right and what is v2 20 centimeter cube what is v1 it's calculated to be 12 that is 8 centimeter cube so guys if now in the beaker if you have the beaker and if in the beaker if you add if you add 12 centimeter cube of your stock solution that is 12 centimeter cube of 1.0 mole per dm cube glucose this is your stock solution right 
if you add 12 centimeter cube of 1.0 mole per dm cube glucose solution and then you add 8 centimeter cube of distilled water what will you prepare you will prepare a solution of 20 cm cube of 0 0.6 mole per dm cube glucose so i hope you got this question correct when you pause this video we will now move on to the serial dilution